Hey Greta, I saw that you put a question mark on these questions on your assignment, so I wanted to give you a little video on how we can do this. Um, one thing I noticed is that when you do transfer it, you might have used Google Docs or something, um, it changes the equations a little bit. It doesn't make t as the exponent, and so what I want you to do for this one, um, you can write it by hand and then um, send me a picture of it, if that will be helpful, so that you can have the exponent here. So um, we have f of t equals 2 to the power of t plus 2, where f of t is the number of cells after time t, after how many hours has the number of cells increased to 10,000. So we know, we know that 10,000 is f of t, and after how many hours, we don't know that, so we're going to leave that as t. And so what we're going to do to set up our equation is 10,000 equals 2 to the power of t plus 2. Now, whenever you're trying to find an exponent up here, what we want to do is take this from exponential form and put it into log form. So if we have it in log form, it'll be log base 2 of 10,000 equals t plus 2. So that's how we rewrite something in exponential form into log form. Um, and so if we were going to go backwards, put it from log form into exponential, it would be 2 to the power of t plus 2 equals 10,000. So you can think about kind of going around in a circle. So this is how we'll set up our equation. Now all you need to do is use a calculator to find this, and then subtract 2 to get t by itself. Hopefully that helps a little bit. And then going down here, um, it's going to be similar, but we're going to have to use natural log. Um, so we know that whenever we have e, we get to cancel it out with natural log. But you'll do the same process as up here. 